Sparkling wines exhibit a lot of fresh and fruity flavors that can complement apps and even salads. But the bubbles can also have a sort of cleansing effect on the palate and can even elevate or lighten heavier foods. So that's why I'm going to suggest dishes for both approaches. Our cremant is light, sharp, and fruity. So let's do a grilled pear over arugula with feta cheese. For best results, you're going to want a well-oiled grill or griddle for this recipe. And we'll start by halving and coring those pears. You'll want your griddle pretty hot for this, and it's only going to take the pears a few minutes to cook. In the meantime, we're going to make a sauce for the top of the pears using fresh grated ginger, the juice from half an orange, and whiskey in about two tablespoons of olive oil. Make a nice little bed with some arugula, and after they've cooled down, you can plate your pears. Now let's top those pears with some fresh feta, our citrus and ginger drizzle. I'm going with toasted pumpkin seeds for added flavor and crunch. And lastly, a little magic sprinkle of some cinnamon and sea salt. Champagne pairs classically with fried foods and white truffle as well. So let's make some fried potato wedges with fennel prepared two separate ways and a truffle aioli. Yukon Golds and Russets are the best for frying and I'm gonna cut these up in these nice large rustic matchsticks. Get as much water out as possible and I'm tossing them in a little bit of cornstarch which makes them even crunchier. And for added complexity, I'm gonna to top this dish with some fennel, both fried and caramelized. I'm using canola oil at 325 degrees to make my fries. And sauteing the fennel to get it caramelized. For extra crispy fries, drain them on a rack and then fry them twice. And of course, don't forget to season them. For the aioli, combine about two tablespoons of truffle oil with a cup of mayonnaise, the juice of half a lemon, season, and whisk. Toss the remaining fennel in cornstarch and fry that up as well. And we're ready to plate. I'm going fried fennel first and then caramelized on top. As always, both of these dishes can be mixed and matched with either wine and I think you're going to get excellent results. I hope you get a chance to whip both of these up and join us for the live tasting in a few weeks. And if you haven't yet, buy your wines at WTSO.com and reserve your spot. I'll see you there. Cheers.